Okay, so I wanted to make this video to tell you I spent $1,200 in my local game stores in one month, January. So here's the breakdown. I paid 60 bucks for that giant calendar I tried to put up, but I forgot to put it up. I paid $60 for that. I played at four different pre-releases, so that was $120. I paid for a case of fat packs, which actually I got the whole case for $165 after tax. So that's pretty good for a fat pack case. Um, I purchased some more fat packs, more Dragon Maze, all together in a few boxes, probably $400, $500 of uh, boxes. At one place, I purchased a lot of Weiss cards, over $210 of Weiss, um, mainly because I'm addicted to collecting promos. Uh, and then I purchased a Urza figure, I purchased a some play mats, a poster. I obviously have been paying my graphic designer to do all the cool stuff. At least I think it's amazing. Uh, the graphic design for this channel, like my Phoenix design and all that stuff. And that comes from a PayPal. I had, yeah, and just Friday Night Magic, as well as, you know, just opening a few back boxes, drafting, all that stuff became $1,200 in a month. That's a lot, uh, but it's kind of an atypical month because it was a pre-release month and then you go pre-release and you buy boxes that you normally don't buy. And there was like a lot of Weiss promos that I normally don't buy as well as just basic stuff that, but anyway, $1,200. Oh yeah, and some anime figures as well. $1,200 actually isn't that bad because if you go to an anime convention or you go to a comic convention outside of your city where that you have to involve travel slash hotel, you know, let's say like four days travel and hotel, uh, in addition to your time, you're paying pretty close to $800, $1,000 if you're going with a friend or you're sharing a room. Um, that's still pretty pricey. I don't, I actually have my own room when I go to events and stuff. I'm really weird. I go. I will go with a bunch of friends, but I need to like have my own room to like make YouTube videos. I used to make YouTube videos from my hotels whenever I used to travel, but I don't do that anymore because it's kind of weird. Anyway, so $1,200 actually isn't that much. It's just like at least, it's like two conventions, right? And as long as I'm really good and don't go to conventions for the next month, you know, I, it's not bad, but uh, leave in comment below how much money do you guys spend in the month of January or how much money was the most you've ever spent in one month on uh, magic cards or hobbies or uh, like magic as a hobby, even at that price point, I feel like it's still okay for my lifestyle because again, I, I do, most of my money goes to food, like going to eating out at different restaurants which is good, and all like uh, membership, gym membership, Team Treehouse membership, like all of these like monthly things that kind of hit you, like internet and stuff. So, but you know, twelve hundred dollars is a lot, and I kind of regret regret spending that money. But at the same time, it's nice to support your local card store. And I will always say, you know, it's better for you to overspend at a card store just to help them out than underspend. And I know we're a budgeting channel, but between me and you, uh, some you know, you budget what you can afford, and for at least the month of January, I could afford twelve hundred dollars of oh, and video games. I was like, wait, I'm missing a chunk of money somehow. And video games, I got the Omega Ruby, um, the Sapphire. I got the Fire Emblem finally, and I got um, Dying Light, so that's the game I'm playing right now. It's pretty good, and I got the Kingdom of Hearts, the new one, or the older one, and it's very, very good too. So, yeah. Bye, guys.